welcome back to my channel today's video probably which most of us deal with on a daily we don't have a whole lot of time to spare for a workout because either work kids we've got a lot just so much going on we only have a short window of time to work out and it's not enough time because I need to figure out my workout or it's gonna take too long so I'm not gonna work out don't not work out there are plenty of ways <laughs> to get in a workout in a short period of time the key is planning ahead so this means that you just you never know when those days are gonna happen so what you want to do is maybe write yourself or you can even copy uh, some of my workouts <laughs> in your phone and have them on hand so if those days arise where you're like I only get like 30 minutes to work out you have something and you can bust it out and it can be something that can be done anywhere so if you can only do it at your work at your home you don't have time to go to the gym or you can run to the gym but you only have that short little window of time it's something that you can utilize it doesn't require a bunch of gym equipment just a few little weights and but you can still really get a good workout in <laughs> making sure that you maybe get up in enough time I know some of us don't like to get up early <laughs> but on some days you might have to make that sacrifice so today I am up early I am ready to go I'm gonna bust down to the gym to get in a 30 minute workout and we're gonna do that together <laughs> yes like my cheetah print <laughs> still in pajamas right after my workout I'm gonna have lunch with my grandpa just call him Papa <laughs> uh, just hang out with him spend some time with him for Father's Day because my dad is um, passed away my grandpa he's in his late 80s I believe he's, he's getting up there <laughs> but he just recently he just started suffering from Alzheimer's and some various other um, things that come with age kind of want to try to spend as much time with them as you can because you never know when that day is gonna come so, and I gotta bust out that workout this morning because I won't have time after so my life revolves a lot around fitness in the gym but it's all about just moving that around with your life as well because you don't want to just cut out spending time with family and friends or doing things you enjoy just because you have to work out you can modify anything and get your workout in and it doesn't even have to be a long workout and just get it in but still make it work so you can spend time with family and do the things you enjoy starting with pre-workout meal ran out of oatmeal so i'm going with my cream of rice and I'm gonna do some almond butter mixed in with this with some, I'm gonna do some maple syrup. I cook this with egg whites too, so I have my protein. <laughs> what are you staring at? Say hi, YouTube family. That looks good. I already pre-prepped <laughs> all my meals last night because I knew today was gonna be busy. I kind of knew ahead of time. Most of us know our schedule ahead of time. We know how busy it's going to be, what we have going on, because a lot of times when it comes to work or certain things, we have we schedule it. We already know about it. So if you know you're going to be extra more busy than usual, take the opportunity, take advantage of the night before to uh, pre-plan things like your workouts, your meals, or whatever it is. So that's why I know today I'm not going to get an opportunity to either come home and prep meals or even stop somewhere because it's going to be like I'm going to be all over the place so having these meals I'll have them with me so when I need to get a meal in when I am hungry I have something and I don't have to worry freak out and be like oh I'm not going to eat and then not eat and then be hangry yeah I got my pink lemonade stance supplements BCAAs and glutamine and I do these during my workout every single workout I do one scoop of this and one scoop of this time to shake it up Shake it up. Shake it up. Mmm. 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 Food. Don't we just love food? I actually was cooking this cream of rice while I was getting ready this morning. So killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm trying to record this video and I need to um, go. Yeah. Time is a ticket. Let's go work out, guys. Hey guys, here at the gym. So if you don't have a stability ball for your house yet, I recommend getting, you can get a pink one, and this is from sweetsweat.com. You can use my code HONEYBUNS to get 10% off. So they're all different colors and sizes on there. Um, so then you can order one straight to your house so then you have it at your house. So you can do these exercises. This whole circuit can be done at home. It can be done anywhere, guys. Go for it. So stability ball, pair of dumbbells, your BCAAs, water. That's pretty much it. Let's do this. Most of these exercises are going to be one minute each with a 30 second rest. 
So make sure that you're doing the full one minute and 30 second rest and you're not going over that because that's the point of this circuit is to try to get the intensity in a short period of time. So if you go over minute time or your 30 second rest, then you're kind of defeating the purpose of this quick routine. You guys can do it, it's gonna be tough, but that's the purpose, that's the point of this. So really get focused and push through, get the most out of this 30 minute exercise. The circuit's gonna be two exercises, but they are superset combo moves, and you're gonna do those two back to back with your 30 second rest in between. It's gonna be three times through. Lights are wet and there's sweat on your In the pineapple bun though I just kind of poofed it a little bit <laughs> so it still looks cute hey little knot it's so cute summary <laughs> you look so pathetic right now but you chew stuff up all the time that's why you have to be in there when we're gone oh. <laughs> Mama buns. Hello. Hi, Jan. 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 Hi, we got ribs and cornbread, salad, macaroni salad, potato salad. What is that, Susie? Are you eating dessert? Yeah. We have mama buns and your sweets. Yeah. She's <laughs> this. just about I just pulled up to the Lash and Beauty Lounge next door is where the gym is <laughs> but I'm gonna pop into the gym real quick to say hi to Zach because I think he's there right now training some clients so I'm just gonna go say hi to me boo-boo <laughs> before my appointment because my appointment's in like eight minutes eight minutes hello Zach <laughs> I was coming to say hi to you yeah, I'm gonna go get my face poked and picked at. You wanna join me? You're so handsome. <laughs> yeah. 
not going into the dark room now. <laughs> you have to put this little thingy on. How do I look? Ooh, this is kind of, I like this. I think I'm going to get one from a house. This is comfy. <laughs> i got to take my makeup off. I'm going to take my eyelashes off. Now comfy. What is this? What's gonna happen to me? <laughs> Typically oily your skin. Yes. Everything's coming off. She's gonna wipe my makeup off now. Like my little hairband. <laughs> like my vein in my forehead. <laughs> Whatever Just your face in my boobs. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so my first time doing a facial. My facial experience, it was pretty awesome. It was very relaxing. I really, really enjoyed the whole process it was like an hour I believe she did quite a few different steps you know first like cleaning and exfoliating and then did like some hot cloths which was really nice and there was like a, a steamer that was constantly going on your face like, to open up your pores and then she did the extractions <laughs> and tried to get all the little blackheads out um, I didn't have that much huh? then she did a mask and then she did moisturizers and I don't typically do moisturizers in general on my face because I have very oily skin so I don't have to do a lot of that <laughs> Uh, never have had a facial before. I've never done anything along those lines. No eyebrows because you guys know my eyebrow game is weak. You don't have much. I'm um, doing uh, facials to uh, help put the collagen back in your skin. So brightens everything, kind of gives you that rejuvenated. She used uh, this really cool like, face mask that was like a hibiscus plant-based something. It was really nice. Um, I liked a lot of the products she was using because a lot of them were natural. But it was awesome. I liked it. If you guys do any facials, um, how often do you go? Uh, has it has it worked for you? Have you seen great results from doing a uh, facials regularly. I am starving right now and so are the puppies. They're waiting for their food. Waiting so patiently. Oh, this goes. Hey. Wow, crew. Get your food? <gasps> yeah? Get your nummies? Oh, num nums! Num nums! Get your num nums! <laughs> so I was really, really craving uh, peaches. <laughs> oh, smell it. Smells <laughs> so good. So I'm gonna eat a peach. And I'm gonna make myself also some protein. Look at this little nugget down here. What are you doing? He wants the peach. Started counting macros again, back on the counting macros. And I had my lunch today with my grandpa. And so I kind of guesstimated what I ate today and then put it in my fitness pal. Um, so it's not gonna be exact numbers, but it's close enough. So then I know kind of what macros I have left for the day without just going overboard or going under. Sometimes just guessing is better than not doing anything at all. <laughs> okay, so I found out that those cornbread, uh, so I did, it was about, I did three-fourths of what a serving is. I just, it's something random. I just searched, so I put that in there, and then apparently there was cheese cooked into the cornbread, so I, I guess made it in my little piece. It was probably about maybe two grams. Uh, and then we had ribs, so uh, guesstimating <laughs> potato salad with, um, yeah, so I ate, that's pretty much how I ate. It's probably, I'm just guessing, again, guesstimating. It's not exact, and oh, I did forget one thing in there. It was sweet cream. We will just go with this one, and I would say, it, I didn't even, I did like half of the of the little square, so we are just going to do half. So that shows you it's about five grams, um, almost six grams of fat. So we'll put that in there. So again, I'm just guesstimating. This is not exact numbers of what I ate. I'm just guessing the size of what was on my plate. They were pretty small portions. 
about 10 grams away from my goal fat. So I have to kind of play around. I'll probably end up just doing some kind of oil for the rest of my fat. I didn't eat much protein today. I only had about 40 grams. So I need to meet my goal of 100 and 125 grams today. It means I still need quite a bit, like 80 grams or something like that. <laughs> And then because of all the treats that we had and stuff, so my carbs got almost all the way used up. So I only need about 25 more grams of carbs today. So we just have to get creative and probably eat a bunch of veggies. Probably some rice. We'll do, maybe do that. We're going to do some leftover chicken. Might as well use that. And yeah, probably do um, cucumber. So this was chicken that was just grilled on the barbecue a couple nights ago. So I'm just reheating it in my pan because I do not have a microwave. I'm going to keep it very simple and basic tonight because I don't feel like getting all crazy and cooking. I'm tired. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't want to cook all extravagant meals. Now I'm going to just um, cut up my cucumber and put it in a bowl. And I'm going to put some balsamic vinegar and a packet of Truvia in there. And there you have it. La la. And I put some salsa on there. Thanks again, guys, for watching, dealing with my bareness, and my no <laughs> eyebrows. You are going to talk to my mouth. This is what you're going to be looking at. <laughs> hey, Delt. But thank you guys. I love you guys. And see you on the next video. Oh, yeah.